Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Naya, and here we do all things beauty, faith, and fun. And I wanted to get on here really quickly and just encourage you guys with just quick encouraging word. I know a lot of the times as women, we're just getting our day-to-day -day things done. We're, we're, you know, we're doing our hair, we're doing our makeup, we gotta take care of the kids, we gotta tend to our husbands, we gotta take care of our families. We have so many different responsibilities. And a lot of the times we get so stuck in our responsibilities and the things that we have to do do that we neglect just like our own promises that the Lord has given us as well we neglect how God has asked us to not just show up as a, as a nurturer not just show up as a boss not just show up as a stay-at-home mom not just show up as a content creator not just show up as just as a role but showing up as a beautiful and created and unique woman of God a, a woman that is multi-talented a woman that can nurture her family but also pursue her dreams and pursue you know the things of the lord and her goals and sometimes it can just feel i don't know i feel this way for me too where it's like i have all these different things that i want to do and all these different ideas and then sometimes i feel so like a fire extinguisher that's just ready to burst out all this water but i'm like lord but i have this and lord but there's this boundary line and there's this boundary line and the lord is like you're following the boundary line of people you know, yes, I've called you to, to work. I've called you to steward over this. I've called you to do that. But you're following a boundary line of what other people have said. And you're not following the boundary lines that I have given you. And they fall in pleasant places. These are things that I have gifted you. These are things that I've created in you to be unique. But you're thinking that it has to be in a certain type of way. Or you're thinking that it has to be in a certain type of structure. And the Lord's just like, no. One of the things that the Lord has kind of just been revealing to me is that I am standing in the way of my own breakthrough and a lot of the times we stand in the way of our own breakthrough it's like we know that god has given us these these abilities or these gifts and these talents or or um we are anointed to do certain things but because we're following those boundary lines of other people what happens is that we hold ourselves back or we just say oh you know maybe a later time or maybe another time we don't trust the work that god has done in us and if you really trust you know who god says he is what he has equipped you to do what he has anointed you to do what he has given you a gift and a talent to do it wouldn't be oh lord but i'm not you know now's not the right time i'm not going to get the right thing done i'm gonna struggle here i'm not this is not going to make sense nobody's going to get it the market is not there stop waiting and just start now just know that he entrusted you with that gift in and of itself and so if the god if god has entrusted you with that gift in and of itself he wants you to go out and he wants you to use it he wants us to use it to use it to bring his kingdom glory and if you're anything like me i'm like oh my gosh lord i'm gonna mess it up i'm gonna make a mistake i really i'm like oh mistakes 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 we can think that we have to do things sometimes perfectly we have to have the whole outline but you learn as you go you know the lord has already provided he has already given you those things and one of my favorite things that i always refer back to this one of my favorite scriptures is just like the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and he delights in their way and though he may fall he shall not be utterly cast down because the lord upholds him and it's so true the lord has given this to me the lord has placed this inside of me he has given me all these like cool ideas he's showing me like this is what i want to use this is what i this is what i want to do to bring you forward where you're so focused on the boundary lines that other people said don't fit stop worrying about what doesn't make sense to other people what doesn't seem right for the timing what better time than not now if the Lord has been just giving you the constant green light and this is something that you submit in prayer and even if you're still trying to figure that out go to him in prayer and say Lord what is it that you want me to do how do you want me to fulfill purpose here on earth as it is in heaven Father God like how do you want me to carry out these things that are a burning passion inside of me and along the way Lord show me as I'm doing it unto you direct me give me guidance and the Lord will do it. Something that really, really encouraged me this week when I was reading a, a Bible plan, it, it was, it's Galatians 5.16. I'll put everything down in the description. But one of the things that it was talking about was that if you're walking in the spirit of the Lord, you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. And so if you have committed yourself to God, if you have recognized that you have the Holy Spirit with inside of you, 
even though you may have like those desires that come up even though you may have those things that are like oh my goodness lord if you know i made a mistake mistake the spirit will guide you the spirit will lead you he will direct your steps he will bring you into submission he will bring you into alignment and so stop thinking that you're gonna have to have a perfect because you don't you do not have to have a perfect you don't have all the answers you just have to have you your uniqueness and of course god because if god put it in you he entrusted you to carry it out the way that he saw it from the moment that he gave it to you so i want to just encourage you guys this week to really step out don't stand in the way of your own breakthrough I, I forgot which one it is but proverbs talks about the lord directs our steps anyway so why worry about the path like why 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 be anxious about the path if i'm trusting that the holy spirit is leading me and if, I'm, if i trust that god is leading me why am i worried about all the ways along the way that i'm not going to get it right that's what the Holy Spirit is there for. That's what the love and grace of God is to do. And he doesn't do it in a way where you feel like, oh, you, you idiot, <laughs> like you didn't get it. It's such a loving, loving correction, such a loving alignment back into what he says. And he opens, he has a door open continuously. So I want to give you the space to receive God's grace right now. Say, Lord, just forgive me for keeping control over the gifts and talents that you have given me for allowing my fears allowing the opinions of other people to control the beautiful thing and the beautiful gifts and the, the anointing that you have put on my life to carry out your will to bring you glory and to also encourage others there is a whole group of people that are just there waiting to see that same thing that you put inside of me waiting so that they, they can then too step forward and find a place too for them as well and that's the beauty about the kingdom. Everybody belongs and everyone is unique. No matter how many different things, the spirit of God enables you to do some amazing, mighty, creative, big, big things. You think about all those people that have all these great things that they would have decided, oh, there's not a place for me for this. I'm just going to leave it. That market would have never been created. So it's not too late. You're not too young. You're not too old. Trust the refining power of the Lord say lord forgive me and and walk with jesus and, and let him guide your steps and trust that where he's leading you is good it's good it's good it's good it, it's not easy but it's so rewarding and it's so full of life it's so full of life and blessings and love and grace and community and sometimes you have to take the steps to, to to get the things that you're praying for god for and you have to trust that if he told you go baby girl go <laughs> so i just wanted to encourage you guys with that this week and i want you guys to you know let it go you know let it go move forward and and no longer stand in the way of what the lord is trying to do in your life say lord I, I invite you in and i say i give you the control i give you the control and i allow you and i give you the control over my abilities my gifts my talents and i say lord i'm here and i'm gonna just do it so i love you guys if you guys don't know i also have this channel on the beauty and her serving christ which is um my women's ministry as well so if you want to get shorts or just continue watching for beauty tips and everything like that and i love you guys don't forget if you haven't subscribed press the subscribe button right now and um oh and i wanted to give you a good bible plan too there's a really great bible plan called the power to change and it's by pastor greg Rochelle. i uh, if you're struggling with being disciplined and, and being consistent, that is the Bible plan for you. It's so good. I'm going to link it down below. It also just helps you to kind of walk into that, you know, the power to change and, and take the steps. So I'm going to link everything down below. Love you guys so much and see you guys in the next video. Bye.